This program is brought to you by Emory University. Hello, darling. The beginning of our friendship was so beautiful and genuine, and I was happy more than I'd ever been. I'll never love anyone else as I have you. I have never loved so deep. The love letter, a once popular form of communication and expression, is disappearing. Have I ever received a love letter? No. I have never received a love letter, only like the love email. I've never personally received a love letter. I've never personally written a love letter either. A girl has told me over Facebook that she loves me. Emery senior Roy Mossy still occasionally handwrites love letters to his fiancée in Louisiana. I think I'm in the minority, for sure. And maybe just a little romantic. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Cheesy, some would say. But with all the communication options available, it's typically... Emails, text messages, uh, Facebook, occasionally. So, rather than... I don't care if this rain don't fall or the sun don't shine. All I want in life is you, darling. It's instead... I cannot believe, uh, all caps, I'm going to be with you tonight, exclamation point, gah, I can't wait. And I replied, I know, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation uh, point. It is just surreal, exclamation point, exclamation uh, point. I am so, so, so excited to see you, my beautiful bride-to-be, smiley face. <laughs> A new exhibit in Woodruff Library called With Love is showing off the days of old, when the language of love was eloquent and verbose. There's letters, there's telegrams, there are book inscriptions from poets between their husbands and wives. There's some music scores. Emory alum and staff member Sarah Peterson curated the exhibit and says it's funny how things have changed. We don't generally think of men as, as writing long, expressive love letters, um, and there are a handful of, of those in this particular um, selection of materials. So I think especially the, the men's letters would probably be considered sort of cheesy from certain perspectives. These love letters on display may date back nearly 100 years, but the sentiments will live on as long as there are people around like Roy. For Emory University Communications, I'm Corey Bromenfolks. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.